we have added tabs to the preset library. This makes it far easier to get to the different types of content, rather than them being buried in one single dropdown like they were before. There is a tab for the rigs, which is the default tab. These are entire lighting designs, and we've added more in 8Drop2. There are environments. These are any presets that are deemed by HDR Light Studio to be an environment. So these will be lights that are mapped to fill the canvas or any sky uh, presets will be classified as environments. Any content images with a two to one ratio and any element images again with a two to one ratio. So they are automatically filtered onto the environment tab. If I was to delete all of these lights already. So we have element images. If I drag and drop this onto the canvas, because it's already on the environment tab, it will assume that you want to make an environment. It won't ask you, do you want to make a 3D light? Do you want to make a background light? It would just make a background light automatically. So any two to one image in the preset library will be deemed uh, an environment. There are lights. So this will be anything that is not an environment. And we've got the drop down and all of the tags as usual. And interestingly, any of these uh, tags that I select, if I go onto another tab and I select a different uh, tag, it will remember the tags you've selected for each panel. So you'll be able to uh, keep hold of uh, any particular uh, type of content that you want on each one of these uh, tabs using the tags. Um, so yeah, we've got all the lights on here. There's some new ones uh, in 8Drop2 as well, like some uh, color temperature lights, some colored lights that you can easily drag and drop into your lighting design. Then on a separate tab is content. And we've got the different content types in the type drop down and scrim light, for example. We then have elements. These are the color ramps, various colors. Images that are not deemed to be HDRI maps. So images that are not a two to one ratio. And then the value ramps. And then the final tab is called effect. The effect tab represents all uh, lights that have blend modes that are not add or over, which means they'll be affecting the content beneath them. So let's look at an example. We have got a saturation tag. And here we've got uh, a desaturation. If I read the wording down here, we have desaturate canvas, saturate canvas. So if I just double click to add that, that is a light now whose blend mode is saturate and I can use to uh, increase saturation of the canvas. Let's have a look at another example. We have a uh, these color filters, so warm to cool. So if I double click on here, we have a warm to call filter that I can move around now. So the effect tab is lights that will be blend mode, multiply, low pass, color, saturation, hue, and amplify. And that's the effect tab. So now it's much easier to find any type of preset content that you want and go straight to it. And also each tab remembers its uh, settings to make it easy to switch between environments, for example, and then a particular type of lights that you want to use. So that's tabs for the preset library. You can now apply the light appearance of any light to an existing light. I can right click and apply to current light. This will apply the main 
value blend and alpha multiply all of the appearance settings for the saved light onto the current light. So in this example, the alpha multiply has got polygon and the main content is a scrim light. So I was able to apply all of the appearance settings by right click, apply to current light. Or alternatively, you can drag and drop the preset onto a light in the light list and it will override the appearance settings. HDR Light Studio 8 Drop 2 introduces a brand new concept called Audition. Now you can try out different presets instantly without committing to selecting them. Let me show you. We have a HDRI map selected here at the base of the lighting design, and here's my preset library. Normally I'd have to right click and apply that to the current light to see what that different uh, environment would look like. If we turn on Audition, as we hover the mouse over the different environments, it will instantly be loaded temporarily and update the view. This way we can try out lots of different environments and see what they look like on our scene. When we're happy, with an environment. We can double click and it will be permanently applied to the light. So this is a really, really fast way to try out different lighting designs. And as you can see, my mouse has gone back over, my cursor is in the uh, panel and I'm still in audition mode. And every time I go over a thumbnail, it will change the map temporarily and instantly. If I come out, it will return to the set HDRI map. So I can turn this off if I want to now use HDR Light Studio as normal and not audition the presets. This works for lots of different content types apart from rig. You cannot audition a rig and if you turn it on, you will not see any rigs. To apply a rig, to the whole lighting design, you right click as usual and replace the current lights with the rig. But for environments, you can use audition and for lights. So if I select this light, audition is on. And as I hover over these different types of lights, I can try them out. Okay, so let's double click and apply that softbox. So here's where things get really interesting. If I go onto the content tab, the content represents just one piece of content that could be on either the main value blend or alpha multiply parts of the appearance of the light. If I want to audition the different content types, we can actually decide whether we want to audition it onto the main, the M button here, which is active, onto the value blend. So if I press the V, I can now audition these different scrim light settings just onto the value blend and manipulate the brightness of the light. Or A, so if I change to from the content to polygon, and we have A for the alpha multiply, as I audition these different settings for the polygon, I'm trying out different alpha looks for this light. So if I then double click on one of these settings, it will apply it. So that has applied it to the alpha multiply because when I was auditioning, I had the A button selected for the alpha. So if we come over here now and press the M and I select a different uh, content type images, I scroll down here and let's say double click on here, that will apply the window. Um, then if I come here, because I'm in audition mode, 
I can apply this light streak. Brilliant. Okay, so as we're moving around, we're constantly auditioning because the audition uh, toggle is on. So I can turn that off. Okay, so we have this light appearance at the moment. Now, previously with presets, you were able to uh, have colors, but you weren't able to apply them like you can now. So with an element color, we can audition a color onto a light and the light, depending on the type it is, will automatically place that color setting where it can on the settings for the appearance. So here, the only option is to apply it to the main. There are no color settings on value blend or alpha multiply. So only the M button is showing here. And uh, the color mode here is set to source for the original color. But as I audition here, it automatically switches that color mode to flat and it will let me audition different colors for the light. So if I then double click, that will apply the color to the light. Now, if I come here and I go to uh, element color ramp, we have lots of different color ramps in here. And again, as I am hovering around in my presets, we are auditioning and it changes the mode from flat to a uh, ramp and we can try out these different color ramps on the light. So I can double click and now that's been selected. So not only can you audition uh, lights and audition environments, you can audition content and you can use these new buttons for main, value and uh, alpha to decide where they go on the light appearance. And this also works for element presets. Now for effect presets, you can audition those, but they will just change the appearance and the blend modes and basically all of the settings apart from the transform settings of the light. So the light will stay the same size with the same mapping, but it will inherit the appearance and the blend mode coming from the effect light preset. Okay, so let's just audition this light back to uh, a more sensible setting. And then come back and audition a different color. This time, Kelvin. So we can try out some different color temperatures. There we go. So with the preset system now, you can audition instantly a different uh, HDR, different uh, light appearance, or audition uh, elements that you can apply to the main value alpha of the light. So it's faster than ever to explore different lighting concepts now using HDR Light Studio 8 Drop 2. You can now change the size of the preset thumbnails. Just go to Edit, Preferences. The default is standard, which is the same as they've been in previous versions of Light Studio, but you can choose Large or Extra Large. The new size will take effect after you've restarted HDR Light Studio. <laughs> 